Electric vehicles have gained increasing popularity in recent years due to their numerous benefits, such as being environmentally friendly, cost-effective, and high-performance vehicles. One of the main advantages of EVs is their contribution to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. Traditional cars are powered by gasoline or diesel, which produce carbon emissions and other pollutants harmful to the environment and public health. In contrast, EVs run on electricity, which can be generated from renewable energy sources such as solar and wind power. Therefore, EVs can significantly reduce carbon emissions and help mitigate the impact of climate change. EVs are also cost-effective, especially in the long run. While the initial cost of an EV may be higher than that of a conventional vehicle, the ongoing cost of operating an EV is significantly lower. EVs require less maintenance, and the cost of electricity is typically lower than that of gasoline or diesel. Additionally, many governments offer tax credits and incentives to promote the adoption of EVs. Apart from that, EVs are becoming more and more popular due to advances in technology. The latest EV models can travel longer distances on a single charge, have faster charging times, and offer higher performance than their predecessors. The development of charging infrastructure, including public charging stations, also makes it easier for people to own and operate an EV. These are exactly why big manufacturers like Toyota, Mercedes-Benz, Honda, and more are trying to keep up with the demand for EVs. But Tesla is one of, if not the leading EV vehicle manufacturers. In this video, we'll talk about the Tesla hardware that was leaked, but before that, Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest in the luxury world. At Luxury Mindset, we bring you all luxurious information ranging from items, cars, houses, places, and even people who bathe in luxury. Not only that, but we also give you the amount you would need to purchase any of these luxurious stuff. So, if you're interested in the rich, becoming rich, or even dreaming of lying on a mattress of gold or dollar bills, click the notification bell to keep yourself updated on this channel. Tesla, the American electric car manufacturer, has been doing very well in California, which is one of the largest markets. California has been a key driver for the growth of Tesla, as it is home to the company's headquarters and has a high concentration of environmentally conscious consumers who are interested in electric vehicles. While Toyota is still the leading brand in California, according to the recent sales data, Tesla is rapidly gaining ground. In 2020, Toyota sold over 200,000 vehicles in California, while Tesla sold just over 88,000. However, Tesla's sales in the state have been growing at an impressive rate, and it wouldn't be surprising to see them overtake Toyota in the coming years. One of the key reasons for Tesla's success in California is its commitment to innovation and sustainability. The company's electric cars have a lower carbon footprint than traditional gas-powered vehicles, making them more attractive to environmentally conscious consumers in the state. Additionally, Tesla's focus on developing new technologies and features, such as autonomous driving capabilities, has helped the company stand out in the crowded auto market. In terms of revenue, Toyota is still the larger company, with over $275 billion in revenue last 2020. In contrast, Tesla has revenues of just over $31 billion in the same year. However, Tesla's revenue has been growing at an impressive rate with a 2020 year-over-year -year revenue growth rate of over 28%. In comparison, Toyota's year-over-year -year revenue growth rate was just 11%. In California last year, the Tesla Model 3 outsold the Toyota Camry, giving the U.S. EV manufacturer a victory that was largely symbolic. Tesla delivered 78,934 Model 3 sedans in the Golden State last year garnering a 15% market share for passenger cars, according to figures from the California New Car Dealers Association. According to EV Adoption CEO, Tesla buyers today are the historical Honda and Toyota buyers of the past. They're switching over to Model 3s and Model Ys. Apart from Tesla's success in California, it has also gained a lot of success in Europe. In Europe, 
EV sales have been steadily increasing with countries like Norway, Germany and the Netherlands leading the charge. According to the European Alternative Fuels Observatory, sales of battery electric vehicles in Europe increased by more than 110 percent in 2021 compared to the previous year. Meanwhile, in Canada, the demand for EVs has also been on the rise, with sales of electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles increasing by 38% in 2021 compared to the previous year. That's according to Electric Mobility Canada. As for the UK, while I don't have any exact sales figures for 2023, I can tell you that the country has been making significant strides in promoting the adoption of electric vehicles. The UK government has set a target to ban the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by 2030, which has led to a surge in demand for EVs. In fact, in 2022, the best-selling car in the UK was the Tesla Model 3, a clear indication of the growing popularity of electric vehicles in the country. In line with the goal of becoming environmentally friendly through the adoption of EVs in California, Customers purchasing an electric vehicle like the Tesla Model 3 or Model Y can take advantage of a few incentives and rebates. Firstly, there is a federal tax credit which currently offers up to $7,500 for EV purchases. Additionally, California offers a state rebate of up to $2,000 for eligible EV purchases and some local utilities also offer rebates and discounts. The state rebate is funded through the state's Air Resources Board, which receives funding from a variety of sources, including vehicle registration fees, cap and trade auction proceeds, and other state funds. The federal tax credit, on the other hand, is funded by the federal government. In Oregon, EV buyers can benefit from the state's Charge Ahead program, which offers rebates of up to $2,500 for low- and moderate-income buyers who purchase or lease a new or used electric vehicle and are funded through the state's Clean Fuels program, which requires fuel importers and producers to reduce the carbon intensity of their transport fuels. Now for the leaked hardware. Recently, there have been reports of leaked images of Tesla's new hardware, the exact reason for this video, which is believed to be the next version of its full self-driving or FSD computer. The hardware is expected to be an upgraded version of the existing FSD computer, which is already installed in Tesla's vehicles, and is responsible for processing data from the car's sensors and making driving decisions. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has been outspoken about his belief that the new hardware will exceed the safety of the average human driver. In a tweet from 2019, he stated that the HW3, or the Hardware 3, and FSD will be transformative for safety. Musk has also claimed that Tesla's FSD technology will be fully autonomous by the end of 2021, although it is currently not clear whether his goal has been met. So, what's the difference between Hardware 3 and FSD? Hardware 3 is the latest version of Tesla's onboard computer, which is responsible for processing data from the car's sensors and making driving decisions. FSD, on the other hand, is a software package that runs on top of the hardware and enables advanced driving features such as automatic lane changes, navigation on autopilot, and more. In other words, FSD is the software that makes use of the data processed by the hardware to enable advanced driving features. Another thing, Tesla has made a number of updates to its popular Model 3 sedan, which many people are referring to as a refresh of the vehicle. The refresh includes several new design elements as well as upgrades to the vehicle's performance and features. One of the most notable changes is the exterior design, which has been updated with new front and rear bumpers, as well as new wheels and new back trim. The interior of the Model 3 has also been updated with a new center console design and a new steering wheel that is reminiscent of the ones found in the Formula One car. In terms of performance, the new Model 3 has a longer range than the previous version with a range of up to 353 miles on a single charge. The vehicle also has improved acceleration with the ability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds. Additionally, the Model 3 now comes with a heat pump which should improve the vehicle's energy efficiency in cold weather. 
In addition to the Model 3 refresh, Tesla is also set to release a new vehicle on March 1st, although details about the vehicle are still largely unknown. Some rumors suggest that the new vehicle could be a new version of the Model S sedan, which would be the first major update to that vehicle since it was introduced in 2012. Other rumors suggest that the new vehicle could be a compact SUV, which would compete with vehicles like the Toyota RAV4 and the Honda CR-V. It's worth noting that Tesla has a history of surprising its customers and the industry with its releases, so it's possible that the new vehicle could be something completely unexpected. Regardless of what the new vehicle ends up being, it's clear that Tesla continues to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible with electric vehicles. As the demand for EVs increases, the demand for a charging station also increases. In November 2021, the White House issued guidance for the $7.5 billion Charging Infrastructure Law, which is intended to accelerate the deployment of electric vehicle charging infrastructure across the United States. The guidance lays out a comprehensive plan to install 500,000 EV charging stations nationwide by 2030, which is a critical step toward the adoption of electric vehicles. One of the key features of the White House's guidance is to encourage private companies to invest in EV charging infrastructure. As a result, many companies are now installing fast chargers for EVs with the aim of making it more convenient and accessible for EV drivers to charge their vehicles. These fast chargers are capable of providing a significant amount of energy to an EV in a short amount of time, making them a crucial component of any charging infrastructure. Tesla, one of the world's leading EV manufacturers, has been at the forefront of the EV charging infrastructure movement since the company first introduced its supercharging stations in 2012. These charging stations are capable of providing up to 170 miles of range in just 30 minutes, which has made long-distance travel in an electric vehicle much more feasible. In addition, Tesla has recently announced that it plans to open up its supercharging network to all EVs in the near future, which will further expand the availability of fast chargers for EV drivers. Of course, the more charging stations there are, the better if there is more supply. Hence, Tesla is now on its Megapack projects. Megapack factories are large-scale manufacturing facilities that produce Tesla's Megapack energy storage systems. The Megapack is a modular energy storage system designed to store large amounts of electricity from renewable sources such as solar and wind and discharge that energy to the grid when demand is high. It is one of the largest stationary batteries in the world with a capacity of up to 3 megawatts per unit. In 2021, Tesla announced the opening of a Megapack production facility in Texas, which will be the company's largest production site in the United States. The factory is expected to produce up to 1 gigawatt of Megapack capacity per year, which is equivalent to powering 20,000 homes for a full day. The factory will also create more than 5,000 jobs in the local area. Another notable Megapack project is in Ontario, Canada. In 2020, Tesla completed the installation of a 100 megawatt, 400 megawatt Megapack energy storage system in the province. This system is one of the largest battery installations in the world and is designed to provide backup power to the Ontario grid during periods of high demand. The Megapack system can provide up to 8 hours of power to the grid, helping to stabilize the energy supply and prevent blackouts. In line with that, the Ontario Megapack project showcases the potential of large-scale battery storage systems to help balance the grid and support the integration of renewable energy sources. As more and more countries around the world aim to transition to a low-carbon energy system, Megapack factories and projects like the one in Ontario will play an increasingly important role in achieving a more sustainable and resilient energy future. So, are you ready for all of Tesla's products? Because I am, and I can't wait to see more of what the future holds for Tesla. And if content like this excites you, smash that notification bell to stay updated with the latest in the luxury world. Only here at Luxury Mindset.